In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorial, we will create retro boombox sign with awesome neon effect. You will see how to make realistic illuminated neon design and apply it to any object or text. To create this glowy neon sign, we'll use scissors tool to add more realism to neon text and rectangle, ellipse and pen tools to draw boombox. Then we'll apply vibrant lighting effects to our artwork and we'll add shadow to make it look like real life neon sign. After this tutorial, you'll be able to apply this technique to create your own stunning neon style logo, sign, posters and all kinds of illustrations. You're watching TNT Tutorials, let's move on and create a new document. Select Print, A4, Horizontal Orientation, in Advanced Options select RGB and click on Create. You can download this image reference and colors via the link in the video description. Just create layers for them, place them like so. After this, create new layer, I for I drop a tool, pick this color, M for Rectangle tool, draw a rectangle like this, rename this layer to Background, lock this layer, then create new one, rename it to Neon. For this tutorial I'm using this font, just type these words as separate objects, then select them both, click here to swap fill and stroke, properties panel, three points here, then click on stroke, round cap and round join. Go to object, click on expand, ok, right click on this object, ungroup, right click again, release compound path, zoom in, deselect this object, see for scissors tool, and start to cut these letters like so. Click here, click here, V for selection tool, select this line and delete it. The same for other objects. Now select this one, bring it down for now, this one up, let's create boombox, we'll work in one color for now, we will apply different colors later. To create boombox just use rectangle tool, ellipse tool, pen tool and line segment tool. Now when you've created duplicate of this line, select both these lines, pick Blend tool, it's over here, with Blend tool click on this line, then on this line, click Enter, select specified steps, preview and enter 4 steps here. OK, now don't deselect these lines, go to Object, Expand, OK, now V for selection tool, hold Alt, duplicate these lines like so. Right click, ungroup, delete this one, select following lines and change proportions like so. Now select these ones, duplicate them to the right, the same here, select these ellipses, Ctrl G to group, group this also, group these objects, select them all and click horizontal align center. I will ungroup these ones, delete this, move this one here, O for reflect tool, find some central point, hold alt, click on this point, preview and click on copy. I will do the same here. Rotate these ellipses. I will change proportions here a bit. Now P for pen tool. Now we will expand all these layers, but before this you should drag this layer here, make a copy, 
rename it to backup and make it invisible. You should do this just in case, if you want to change something later. I will simply delete this layer now. So select all these layers, object, expand. Click OK. Now let's move these ones up and this one down. Apply colors according to reference. We'll use only these colors, these ones that on the left. After you applied all colors, select all objects, go to Object, Path, Offset Path, click on Preview. I will enter this value here. Your value can be different, but you should have similar result. Click OK. Now we need to select all these outlines and put them to new layer. For this, deselect these objects, select them again, Object, Ungroup. Go to Object again. Ungroup again. You can ungroup until you will see that this ungroup function is disabled. Now we are sure that all these objects are ungrouped. Click here on View, Outline. Now V for Selection tool and pick all outlines. Don't worry if you will miss some outlines. You'll be able to pick them later and put them to new layer also. When you'll have them all selected, create a new layer, rename it to Outlines, right-click somewhere here, Arrange, Send to Current Layer. Now go to View, GPU Preview. You can turn off your neon layer, make neon layer invisible, and apply light colors to these ones. We'll use the same bright color for these two colors. Now make your neon layer visible again. Click here to select Outlines layer. Zoom in. V for Selection tool. And move outlines like so. You can already see that we've added some volume here. Let's lock Outlines layer. Create new layer. Rename it to Background Light. Bring it down. Pick this color. M for Rectangle tool. Draw first rectangle like this. Then second one here. Pick this color, draw a rectangle here also, then here, duplicate this one, apply this color, select them all, Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Click on Preview and set Radius to 72 points. Click OK. Now let's change Opacity here a bit. You can unite these two. Change Opacity here to 35%. Select these rectangles and change Opacity to 45%. You can play with values and apply your own. Now lock this layer. Duplicate neon layer, like this. Bring this neon copy layer down. Lock neon layer. Rename this layer to Blur 7 pixels. Select this layer. Effect, Blur, Ghost and Blur. Enter 7 pixels here. Click on Preview. Your value can be different, of course. Click OK. Then duplicate this layer. Bring this copied layer down. Lock Blur 7 Pixels layer. Rename this copied layer to Blur 15 Pixels. Go to Appearance. If you can find it here, you can find it in Window, Appearance. Click on this Applied Effect, Preview, and enter 15 Pixels. Click OK. Lock this layer. I see that I've missed some outline here, but we have well organized workspace, so that's not a problem at all. Unlock Outlines layer. I will select this one and pick this color, lock this layer again. Now it's time for the last step. We'll apply shadows to all these objects to make them stand out. Unlock neon layer, duplicate it like so. Bring this neon copy layer down, like this. It should be right behind neon layer. Lock neon layer, rename this copied layer to neon shadow. Select it here, effect, stylize, drop shadow. Click on preview. I will use these values here. You can apply different values, just play with them. Click OK and lock this layer. If you will decide to change any proportions, any blurring or any settings for your dropped shadow, select this blur for example, unlock it, select it, go to Appearance, click on this Applied Effect and simply change it. You can also delete it and make it invisible. So let's take a closer look at our work. As you can see, we use the same technique to create neon text and neon illustration. 
Keep your workspace organized and you won't have any difficulties with all these layers that we've created today. If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below and let me know if everything was clear enough for you. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe and what's most important by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest interesting tutorials from TNT. I would also appreciate if you'll click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials. See you in next videos.